G'day, Adam the Aussie back. Long time no see. Time for another chat, I thought. So what I thought I'd do today is have a chat about uh, the year in vaping 2015. What I've been using, what I've really uh, enjoyed using, what I didn't like so much, um, and yeah, and a few other few other things. So um, let's move along. And the first thing I want to talk about is, is my favourite device for the year, and that is without a doubt, this little fella right here, Joytech EVIC VTC Mini. Um, what's not to like about it? So it's a uh, great size, extremely hard wearing finish. Uh, you know, I've had this a couple of months now and it just uh, looks brand new. Uh, you know, the devices you buy and you screw your tank on and off a couple of times and uh, wears through the paint and all that sort of stuff. This looks uh, Brand new on top, and you know it's had a tank on on and off there countless times. Um, it, it's it's just really hard wearing. It's got a great screen, easy to uh, read. Um, it's the menus easy to use. Uh, I've got a nickel coil in here, as you can see, 500 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, 45 watts. Vapes like a dream. You never get a misfire from it. Every time you press the button, it just works. It's a fantastic vape, um, yeah, and, and while we're on the buttons there, they just don't fire in your pocket. The way they're designed, um, they're, it just doesn't happen, or it's never happened to me, and they're so easy to find, and they just work. It's got a side charge point, you know, you don't have to lay it down to charge, so that's a win. Replaceable battery, that's a win. Uh, it's firmware upgradable, comes 60 watts out of the box, you can upgrade it to, you know, there's new versions out already which will upgrade it to 75 watts, which, which I haven't bothered with because I don't vape that high, but, uh, and also some other features uh, for your screen. The screens, uh, you can adjust what it displays, whether you want your battery life or your uh, battery amps or the amount of puffs or time in use. It, it's, it is the perfect device um, for me, I guess. Uh, and if you don't, you know, if you don't have one, um, and you've been thinking about whether to invest or not in the VTC Mini, I, c I can highly recommend it. It's been uh, the favourite device I've used uh, this year and, and pretty comfortably. Uh, Honourable mention can go to uh, the Subbox kit. Uh, a lot of the reasons I like the VTC Mini are reasons I also like the, the Subbox. Now, it, the Subbox kit comes with uh, uh, the PV, the vaporizer plus the sub tank. This isn't the sub tank that came with it. I've switched it over for some unknown reason, but um, actually I think I'm using it on my, I think that's the one that came with the sub box. Um, but uh, either way, it, yeah, a lot of the reasons, you know, good size, replaceable battery, um, really good buttons, responsive buttons, no misfires with this one either, this works. Uh, no temperature control with this one, but uh, you know, side charge point, fantastic. You know, we're not laying this one down either. Um, so, so that's another really good setup which uh, came out this year, which I can highly recommend. Not that I vape sub ohm all that much. I'm, I'm normally a mouth to lung, but I do like to occasionally use my uh, sub tank minis. Uh, that's I tried three or four different sub tanks, and I found the Kangatek Sub Tank Mini to be the best for my vaping needs. Has the nickel coils available? Um, has normal, you know, 0.5 ohm Canfell coils for for use with the sub box. So they're all great. No worries at all. Um, as I said, I'm normally a mouth to lung vapor. I've really been enjoying the E Grip um, OLED CL 30 watt. It's um, just a really good pocket friendly device. 3.6 mil inbuilt tank. Um, only a 1500 milliamp hour battery, so if I was going to have a winch, that'd probably be it. A bit more battery life would be great, but for the size, I own a couple of them and uh, you know they're, they're really good. The original E Grip, uh, which came out 12 months ago, I suppose. Uh, the coils in it were just no good and people were swapping them out with the 
Aspire BVC coils and changing the bottom pins and all that sort of thing. Um, and that was a bit of a solution, but the new eGrip 30 watt um, CL takes the Ego 1 coil. So I've been running the uh, 1 ohm Ego 1 coils in here and, and they, the taste and uh, performance and coil life has been really good. So I'm back on the eGrip, uh, really rate it. The only <laughs> The only pain in the ass with it, the uh, Ego One coils that come with the kit have this little silicon cap on top, um, so it seals nicely up against the um, the air tube that runs through the middle of the tank. Now, which is fine. I think you get uh, one on each of the coils that come with the kit and one or two spares when you order the kit. But when you buy replacement Ego One coils uh, for this. Yeah. Uh, they don't come with it, so um, I've been trying to source it. You, know, it. you can pull the caps off the used coils in here and put them on the other one, um, which which isn't that much of a pain. But I, I'd rather just grab a new coil and, and whack it in. So I've been trying to source Ego One coils that come with it. They don't exist as far as I know. I've been just trying to buy a bag of say a hundred of the little Ego silicon caps for the Ego One coils, and I've contacted Joytech and. They haven't got back to me. So look, Joytech really need to, to make these little silicon caps available because without them, the Ego One coils leak like a sieve in, in this device. So um, that's, look, I'm getting by okay. I've still got a few of the rubber ones left, but they're, they're tiny. And if you drop them, they disappear. Um, so I need, I need more. Someone tell me where. I don't know where I can get them. So, um, but other than that, E-Grip OL, ED CL 30 watt is a good device. Uh, really enjoy it. And great, uh, great finish on it. Again, hard wearing finish. So, um, fantastic. Let's talk about the great uh, mouth to lung tanks that have come out this year. Might be a very short chat. I'm still using the Nautilus tanks. Um, you know, that's, that's as good as any, as far as I'm concerned. Um, you know, that's the, the Nautilus tank there with the, the cage on it on, a, on an ice stick and it's a good vape. But here's my gripe, Aspire. You have Atlantis V1, V2. The Triton had a V1 and V2 within months. Like, how long's the Nautilus been out? The Nautilus has issues. It's an ice vape. The, the replacement heads for the Nautilus are a fantastic vape. The Nautilus tank itself has major issues, um, which I'm sure they're aware of, but they keep selling them um, anyway. So, and let me explain. So, the airflow control on the Nautilus works okay out of the box, um, but over time when liquid gets in under the airflow control ring, it's, it just gets stuck. It's a pain in the ass to turn. You got a real, especially if you've got liquid in your fingers, you're, you're in trouble. It just won't spin. So um, they need to have a better airflow control system for the Nautilus. While we're on airflow control, we need more options. Um, the biggest hole in here isn't quite, I'd like a little bit more air for my mouth to lung. I can't have that option unless, like I've done on some, I've, uh, I've drilled that one out. Um, this one I've ripped the whole airflow control ring off. Um, so th there's ways around it, I suppose, but we need a better airflow control system. We need more airflow control options as well. We also need a top filling Nautilus. The base on the Nautilus if you over tighten it, is an absolute bitch to get off. Um, you know, I have to get me, me Leatherman's out and try and twist it off and all that sort of thing. It, it's a bitch, so we need a top fill. Um, Nautilus tank, these are ideas for V2. Please, Aspire, please. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, I, think, I think that's about it. If, if they could, um, you know, fix the airflow, make it top fill, um, Give us more, more airflow options. Um, you would sell truckloads of the things, you know, Aspire. Absolute truckloads. So you can do it with the Triton, you can do it with the Atlantis V1, 
fix up your Nautilus, um, please fix it up because uh, I love the vape that I get from it and I know there are other companies that have developed uh, their own tanks around the Nautilus coils. Um, there's a silo tank and I think there's a couple of others. Uh, I think House of Hybrids do one which is you know, off the map as far as pricing goes. It's um, You've got a good product in your BVC Nautilus coils, Spire, please get the tank right uh, because because it's a really nice mouth to lung vape um, and mouth to lung vapors deserve you know a, a better tank than what you're dishing up at the moment I still like the Nautilus just fix it um, what else we got I've got a, uh, a close but no cigar award um, this one is goes to I've got it here somewhere the Wismac Presser 40 watt. I like this a lot. Uh, it's a great size. Side charge point. Um, easy to use menu. Uh, love the way it fires. You know, the whole side there's your button. Just squeeze it in. Hard wear and finish. You know, this thing hasn't got a scratch on it. I've had it for months. It's fantastic. It's you know, it's a really good finish on the device. Everything is good um, about the Wismac presser, except this little locking switch there. Because of the way the device fires, where the whole side of your button, if you put it in your pocket unlocked, it's going to fire. Um, it'll definitely fire because doesn't take too much to to activate. So they smartly put a locking switch on there. They stupidly made it the most fiddly percent little locking switch, which is a part where there's no reassuring click that you've got it turned on for a start. Um, so you slide this little doodad across to the right um, and it's locked. Or is it? Um, because with jiggling in the pocket, as I found out, yeah, it's locked now. Um, you know, I'll press it once, press it twice, press it three or four times. It's not locked. I didn't unlock it. That's just from, you know, repeated pressing on the, uh, um, now I've turned it off, on the button. Um, just general jiggling in the pocket. The locking switch comes undone. It fires in your pocket. You burn your coils. You get juice leaking everywhere. It's no good. Um, so, I don't want to have to click it five times every time I put it in my pocket to turn it off and then click it five times every time I pull it out for a vape. So, Wismac, you need to fix your locking switch, get it right, and you've got a fantastic little device. It'll be, uh, you know, up there with iStick popularity because it, it's a better firing system, very similar menu. Um, side charging, which you know a lot of people hate about the eye stick, you know, with the charge point on the bottom, everything uh, it's got a better finish than the eye stick. Everything about it is great, except that locking switch, which unfortunately has relegated the Wismac presser to a at-home device for me, which is fine. But it, it's built size-wise to be taken out and about and used. Um, anyway, that's my little gripe. Close but no cigar, Wismac. Hopefully uh, you'll get feedback on that from someone and, and take it on board because a, uh, an easily accessible locking switch with a reassuring click um, that won't come undone in your pocket and you've got a real winner there. Um, the favourite juice that I've had for the year uh, is this one. Must Vapes Pencil. Uh, it's a pair sort of... I get pear and creamy soda out of it. I don't know what the actual description is, but um, it's just one I just just keep coming back to. It's a really nice vape, um, and I don't know. It's just one I vape more of than anything else in in 2015. So that's my favourite juice for the year. Uh, Pencil by Must Vape, available from a few different places, I believe. So um, yeah, excellent. My biggest disappointment of the year. Um, 
<sighs> and it's hard to say, but here I have my cool fire fours. I was, I was using eye sticks mainly uh, back six or eight months ago uh, for my roundabout and then the eye stick cool fire four came out um, and I had MVPs previously before that and just for their reliability um, they were well known for their reliability so yeah cool fire four that'll work for me got it out of the box had a really nice feel about it the finish is fantastic um, except for one issue which I'll get to in a minute but uh, anyway switched it on on the bottom there's an on off switch which I like as well uh, master on off switch fantastic um, that actually works you know you hit Wizmec you listening don't um, put it on the bottom but if you had that switch where you've got your little plastic shitty thing um, you'd have a winner but you don't um, anyway first one I got out of the box um, just wouldn't fire. Uh, plugged it into charge and it just cycled through red, yellow, uh, green, red, yellow, green, and didn't charge up. So um, I'll get another one. Beautiful. Replacement. Used it for two weeks. Same thing happened. Red, yellow, and this is all with the supplied charging gear that come with the device. Um, that Inna can recommend you use red, yellow, green, red, yeah, wouldn't charge up again. So within two weeks, I'll have two, I've got two bricks basically. Um, and my third one has been working fine. Uh, no complaints with this one. You know, I, I mainly use it for, for my Nautilus tanks and, and it works fine. Um, except for a couple of things. Like my, um, to, to me, it feels underpowered. Like 15 watts on this feels different to 15 watts on, it feels less than 15 watts on the, the EVIC VTC Mini or the sub box or the iStick. Um, so whether they're all overpowered and this is right or they're all right and this is underpowered, I don't know. But I feel I have to have this turned up higher than the other devices to get the same vape. So look, it goes up to 40 watts and I mainly use it for the Nautilus, so it's not much of an issue. But um, it's just something I noticed. The battery life is disappointing for something of this size. So, yeah, that's it next to a um, to an iStick. iStick's advertised 2600 milliamp hour. Some people say it's actually 2400. Whether it's 2400 or 2600, it's a lot more than the 2000 of this, and it does last a lot longer than this. Um, so, something with a bigger size that the Cool Fire had. You'd, look, I knew it was 2000 before I bought it, so I really don't know what I'm whinging about, but it does run out of battery a lot quicker than all my other devices. Um, and, and the other thing that just gives me the irritants is, if you have a look at, you know, they, they've put a badge on there, Cool Fire 4. If you want to do that, that's fine. I'll probably prefer it, you know, with just the, the blank look like that myself. But... It's on there, on a, on a stainless steel device with, with a great finish. It feels good in the hand. Um, why then whack a logo like that, chrome brass, which is going to wear and look, look absolutely crappy uh, within, within weeks? I don't know, because it, it detracts from the look of, look of the whole device. Anyway, that's, yeah, that's my disappointment of the year, I suppose, is... Is I was really looking forward to the Cool Fire 4. I had uh, two bad experiences, and and once I got one that worked properly, I'm not overly impressed with it. So that's that's a little disappointing. So that's about it for me. So in summary, if you haven't got a VTC Mini, get one. They're, they're, they're fantastic. They're the, the best device I've got. They've got every feature under the sun, uh, and and they just work. And, and the finish on them is fantastic, and um, they just work. Uh, Aspire, give us a Nautilus V2, please. I beg you. I would love one. I'm sure I'm not on my own. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that would be happy to hand over for a V2 Nautilus. So uh, just forget about sub aiming tanks for two minutes and fix the issues with the Nautilus. Um, and and, and realise that I, 
I don't know for a fact, but the mo most of the people I run into are mouth to lung vapors. You know, sure there's a lot. You know, sub aiming is growing and all that sort of thing, but don't forget the mouth to lung vapors uh, uh, spy. You've got a really good product that can be improved. Um, just do it. Just do it. And Inican left your game. You know, the, you're on top of the world with the MVP. Every man and his dog had one, even though of its boxy appearance, it, it was reliable. It had great battery life. Again, it's a bit like the VTC Mini. It just worked. The finish was good. Um, all that sort of thing. But I think the vaping world's passing you by. I, 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 I don't know what products you're, you're bringing out that are, you know... Yeah, just lift your game, you know. Inican, you, you've been in the game for a long time. I think you can work it out. So, uh, that's about it, I think. Yep, that's it. What have I got? Oh, shit, 21 minutes. Thanks for your time. Cheers.